Yo, 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 this is Bruce Lee. You know, the F is silent for those who fight opposite of what's violent. Fresh out the Vatican. You know we got another one. We gonna do a little Gematria off the fly. Watching this little weather ops video. Peep game. All right, a nonprofit in Texas is using cloud seeding to help farmers survive drought conditions that are pushing many farmers to the brink. Once we see a, a cloud on radar or on visible satellite, we go to it. All right, cloud seeding is a process that releases microscopic particles into thunderstorms to increase rainfall efficiency. Once you find a good inflow, you know, you get with the meteorologist and they'll let you know what kind of flares and how many they want you to flare up and, and inject into the cell. It doesn't make rain, but it can enhance the rain. It helps storms produce more rainfall. Cloud seeding is part of that equation. It enables us to be more efficient. If we don't take advantage of all of our resources, then we're just wasting the effort. That was Stephen Maffridge, a rancher. We are going to talk about him after this quick little video. The group is known as the South Texas Water Modification Association. They say their program has yielded a 5 to 15% addition of rainfall per year. With farmers being squeezed between drought and inflation, they say they'll take all the help they can get. It can affect your bottom line. Uh, just overnight, once you get a bunch of rain, if you continue to get the rain, it, it, it makes it all work. Steven Maffrey just said me, that. Boy. So obviously, there's a farmer here. Sounds like he's all for the weather modification manipulation program to help his ranch. Let's finish this video before we close out, and we're going to talk about Steven Maffridge. It's been lighting up as we've gone through the day today, but those storms are starting to wind down finally. This morning, though, they dumped some serious rain. This video is from West 7th Street in Fort Worth. That's not wise right there. You've heard us say it many times before. If you see high water like this, it is best to not drive through it uh, because it can be dangerous to you and certainly not good for your automobile either. Uh, check out the video from uh, the Bulb Springs area today. Firefighters there having to actually go into some homes and pull people out. Look at it. They're almost up to their waists uh, there. That's how fast the water started rising this afternoon, just trapping some people in their homes. You can see that little pet being carried to safety too by that woman there. Uh, it's not just homes either. Several cars had to be abandoned on major highways today. This is on I-30 just south of downtown Dallas. Uh, you can see that standing water there. Our photojournalist Justin Fuller also recorded this video of cars that were stranded near Peak and Roseland streets in East Dallas. All right, so we're going to jump in the comments. For some reason, again, I look down here and, oh, we're there, we're there. All right, so off the fly again, we've seen Stephen Maffridge, the rancher who's uh, obviously all for it. He's on their side of weather manipulation the weather control so let's run his uh his numbers we got math fridge 4140 he just so happens to be this willing rancher and rancher equals 4140 just like his last name and math fridge equals 59 which is a prime factor of 177 and the jesuit order equals 177 along with weather control something that maffridge this rancher is agreeing to stephen maffridge equals 144 72 and the jesuit order equals 144 72 so it seems like they put this rancher this jesuit stephen here to give us the okay to make it sound like uh, 
this will help all the other ranchers, the real ranchers out there. Don't fall for the tactics of the Jesuit tricks. Their magic tricks, alright? Down here at the bottom, you see Stephen 22 and Jesuits 22. Again, this is Bruce Leaf. You know, the F is silent for those who fight opposite of what's violent. Peace, we out.